as I told you that the mixture of solids, the two or more solids or two solids can be separated by three methods that one we have already did by the use of particular solvent in which the one component is soluble and the other is not soluble. We have done that, right? Now the, the example, the sand and the mixture of sand and the salt, right? The second uh, is the sublimation we already did and the third technique which is used to separate that is by uh, taking into the consideration a special property of one of the solid. So here I am going to demonstrate that so I have a mixture of sand and iron I have put iron nails into it because in, uh, in, uh, in sorry instead of this iron nails you can also put the iron fillings as well because they will they will also show the same property so for this what I have did I have taken a petri dish as you can see it has a mixture of salt uh, sorry sand and uh, iron nails and this is a magnet what I am going to do this I am just going to use this magnet and as you know iron get attracted to this magnet so it is going to stick all the iron fillings or iron nails will get stick to this magnet leaving behind the other component so as you can sh see see the one we have already excited the other so similarly we will be doing for the other as well so that means all the iron objects or fillings or whatever like we did the example of iron with sulfur all the iron particles or iron fillings will get stick to the magnet leaving behind the sand as we take, took the iron uh, objects and as this, uh, we took a sand so sand is just left behind in the petri dish and all the iron particles which get attracted towards the magnet are separated so this is how we are going to use a special property like uh, like a magnet we used in this case.